Hey guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Just got out of the shower, having a, having a nice time after work, oh, just chillaxing. Uh, celebrating today, right now, this video would be my thousandth video up on YouTube. Obviously, it won't be immediate, but I did some uploading and I hit the thousand mark, you know, so this will be my thousandth upload and it will be published in, in time. So thank you for everybody who supported me. I couldn't believe when I hit 100. Cannot believe I hit 1,000. The first 100 videos I did were PA Brews, and this will be no different. To celebrate my 1,000th vi uh, video, not review, but video, I have a PA Brew here that I've never actually seen anyone review before, so I don't know what to expect. And to add to the <laughs> little adventure of unexpectedness, I had my kids over here for a few days, and one of them took the cage off the cork. So I just saw that. I was like, oh my god. You know, a couple days later, I was like, oh, we're going to fix this. So who knows if it got oxidized by this. The, the cork looks it's cork looks fine. 2010 vintage of the Arctic, Arctic Alchemy from Fagley's Brew Works. I believe it's a big old English body one. Not sure. 12% alcohol by volume. The Discovery Red Hand 2010 Expedition. Bought this at J&H, I believe, in the Dallas Plains, Wilkesbury area of Pennsylvania. TheBrewWorks.com, Hamilton Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Everything's on Hamilton Street in Allentown. Everything worth going to, apparently. Anywho. And yes, brewed by Allentown Brew Works, also known as Fagley's Brew Works. I believe there's a thing in Bethlehem they have too. Anywho, big old bottle, cork and cage, Arctic, Arctic Alchemy. This label is issued by us, Discoveries of the Red Hand. So again, there is the label, Discoveries of the Red Hand, Arctic Alchemy. Um, I don't know anything about this brew, saw it, picked it up. I believe it's about 18 bucks if I remember what the label looks like, the price that I saw. Gonna un re undo this this cage. <coughs> I do have a cough. I'm getting over a cold that I've had for quite a long time. So I feel good. I feel good. You know, that's good. Just got out of the shower. I do have a cough, so I do apologize to people for me coughing if I do if I do let out some hacks and stuff. <sighs> Now this is fun. You got to manhandle this a little bit. Cuz this this thing is in there. Which is, good, which is a good thing, you know. Which is a good thing. Poof, a lot of carb. Oh, I'm like very happy to see that very very happy to see that smoke. Hopefully preserve this ale. I don't know what kind of oxidation went through the cork over its years. Obviously, I've only had this in my possession for about a year and a half, maybe a year. So already standing vertical, it would have already dried the cap out and did whatever it's going to do. So here we have a ring of a amber, mahogany, and caramel hue. A little bit of a pretty clear. It's definitely a, with some bubbles sticking to this glass here, but it definitely caramel, mahogany, a little bit of amber hues through there. You just slurred it, slur it around like that. You get to see this crazy glass sticking chaos. Let's get some nose. Oh my, there was a whole, just a slight bit of a sharp white wine kind of vinous note, but Oh, there's tons of raisin, tons of molasses, tons of that brown bread, fresh baked kind of um, uh, molasses cookies, those kind of things, those really sweet savory notes in there. Yeah, tons of of, um, of almost prunes, prunes, raisins, a little bit of fig in there too. And I guess, again, all that molasses, brown sugar, just fresh baked um, those, uh, oh, what are they called, uh, oh, can't even think now, uh, little, little cinnamon kind of notes in there, 
like a cinnamon roll with the nice brown sugary goodness in there, caramel. Oh, okay, I'm super happy because that vinous note just dissipated that quickly and all this big savory goodness came up. So let's go into this one. Cheers, 1000 video. Thanks guys, cheers. It's a medium body overall. Tapering down to the low side of a medium body, almost to the, the low side, the full, the high side of a low body. The body is very odd. It goes into medium and kind of tapers out, but there's nice and a lot of beautiful flavors going on. Little, a touch, softest hint of a vinous note. Almost more like a red wine kind of hint in there, way in the back. Above that, you get soft raisins, caramel, molasses, brown sugar, those notes. They're subtle though, they're not bombastic. They're kind of mellowed out, kind of moving around a little bit. This thing has settled, I'm, I'm sure this thing has settled and just kind of nuanced itself over age. The alcohol is completely hidden, of course, except in that subtle hint of a vinous note. Mm. This was, I think, $18, as I said, when I bought it. It is a treat. It is definitely something that people who enjoy cellared ales, English barley wines, especially cellared, cellar, you know, cellared old ale ales, this tastes like a little bit of an English barley wine and a little bit of an old ale kind of pop together a little bit. It's reminiscent. Almost uh, George Gale's prize old ale, which I believe was actually my 100th video. It reminds me of this. So that's pretty interesting. Ooh. Mm. But definitely, I enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. I'm gonna sip on this. Enjoy my kind of morning, take a little nappy poo, do my things. But I want to say thank, thanks everybody again for my 1,000th video coming along, subscribing. And I got my 500th subscriber now, too. So thank you very much. And I will be doing a challenge. And after this, I'll be doing a challenge video. So this has been Paul from BA Brew News. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to give this one a big old 9.5. It's delicious. It's got a lot of lovely characters. If you see any of these hanging around, I've never seen it before. I only saw one bottle, and I picked that bottle up. So definitely a little different treat for me. But if you have had it, let me know what you think. This has been Paul from Pay Brew News. Cheers. Have a good one. Bye.